Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lena, and on today's video, I'm super excited to show you how to transform these old cards in into something new like this. <laughs> if you're interested in learning more, please stay tuned. For this project, you'll need many of the things that I have set out here, but the four key products that I think you'll need is some sort of rust inhibitor spray like these. You'll also need to clean everything up with some mineral spirits or acetone. You'll need some good primer of your liking, as well as the fourth thing, which is the top coat of your choice, either a spray or the actual paint bucket. And then along with all of these other supplies, I'll list in the description below. I also did bring out the blower and the shop vac just to clean up all the rust that you'll be taking off. The first and most time consuming part of this whole process is probably removing all of the rust from all of your cards. And the first thing I like to do is take the putty knife and run along the surface of the cart to remove any rust, like so. And I could also take the brass brush here, which is really coarse, and that will also help pick up rust. And of course you could use your sander and please be sure to wear your face mask or respirator because trust me you don't want to be breathing in all of this gunk after about two hours of using the sander the brass brush, the chisel, and the putty knives. This is what we are looking at. Now the second step is to take your mineral spirit, your acetone, or your afterwash, and your rags to clean everything up before the priming stage. Now it is time to apply the rust inhibitor spray that you may have and this one I is from Dupli Color Rust Fix. Um, it just says on the back to spray about 10 inches away from your surface to the three coats and you're gonna let this dry overnight and it actually turns it to a black primer. So this one I've already sprayed is drying and I'll start spraying this one. It has been about 12 hours since I sprayed down this first cart with the rust inhibitor spray. The rust fix spray that you see here, it did turn some of the areas into a black or deeper brown color. And I did have time to start the priming process with this primer here, self etching primer. And looks pretty okay. Down here you can still see that there's a lot of rust. So I just want to do one more coat of primer, but a different type. And this one is Rusty Metal Primer from Rust-Oleum. And just to give it some more durability and protection. It has now been about 30 minutes since I sprayed the rusty metal primer, and this is how it dried up as. Over here, I did put an extra layer over here on the lower levels, and now I am ready to bring out my brushes and rollers to begin painting the top coat. I have the smooth protective enamel paint here from Rust-Oleum in black in a satin finish.
Here is a quick break to show you all how the smooth protective enamel paint is drying onto the carts. It's looking pretty good, but I do want to let you know that this paint itself is super thick and tacky and it dries fast. So you want to be sure that your brush strokes are in one direction because it will show. And as for using the sponge roller, the same thing. This paint is really good for outside metal furniture and things like that, and it has high coverage and durability. Here are the before shots of the carts. Lots of rust and grime. The colors all faded. And here is the after everyone. All three carts have been painted with the Rust-Oleum black enamel paint in a satin finish with a sponge roller and a brush. Except for these two drawers, I finished it with a flat black spray paint. So it looks a little different. And on top, I added an easy liner that you could get from Walmart. Here's that red cart. I did leave the inside of these areas red. I didn't worry too much about it. It's not perfect, but it came a long way from the three rusty carts from the beginning. Thank you so much for watching today's video on this DIY flip project, how to paint old rusty metal carts. And please remember to like this video as well as subscribing to my channel. And until next time, another DIY coming at you.